hello everyone today i'm going to show the um, map from 1900 uh i think 86 to um, present 2020 um, landsat images and i will use the google earth engine uh, for this so i'm uh, using a jupyter notebook and i have this course from king shingu and i will just uh, s see the results from here so i have imported os ee ge map and ipa widgets as widgets so this um, will import the uh, ipy leaflet so just uh, shift enter then uh, the map base map hybrid map will be added to this map so let's see this so this one is uh, just the base map but uh, we have to toggle on and off the hybrid maps we can see these maps yeah okay now i will go to my country and in the region of Kathmandu uh, or maybe in Chitwan okay uh, here is Chitwan so I will use Bharatpur okay now I will just choose this rectangle tool and just select it okay then uh, here are some codes <coughs> like description width and the title will be this the width will be this and the style will be this one style equals to style so um, for the widgets we have these things like we can see in the output now and uh, just hit enter uh, we can see the title as lens at ti time lapse this one so these are the uh, values of these are the options we can see here and this one is the description select RGB combo here so we get start drop down uh, will create these things um, and we will add these bands to here and title here in these two boxes so this this boxes is called and in this box they it adds title and bands and when this yes box one is called these will be shown here okay now uh, I will just um, have the widgets of the start here India so to in order to uh, call the widgets we um, use the dot function or we use dot operation so we get start in slider so it will uh, introduce a slider here in these three things so after this we will all uh, add these sliders into a box and uh, we can see the similar kind of output here with the sliders okay one two three four so in one box there are four sliders we can change it from one thing to one here to another so just let let it be then I will uh, use the font size of the in slider uh, as value be 30 minimum value will be 10 maximum will be 50 so let's see this one and I will describe it so this one is the font size this is given by this slider and uh, the for the font color it has uh, introduced the widgets uh, color picker so we can pick the color from here and again uh, it is a uh, progress bar color so what will be the color of the progress bar like from 1986 to 2020 the color will be blue 
and the font color will be white so for this we have used this code and these are also added in one box and inside this box these three elements were added then for the speed uh, also we have used the slider and I will just uh, use the value of 3 because uh, value of 10 will be so fast and we cannot recognize the things so the minimum value will be 1 maximum will be 30 and for the cloud we will apply max so these things are optional you can just click uh, check the on box and these are also added in this box so when clicked and uh, this is the frame like 3 to 30 minimum will be 1 maximum will be 30 so I will just use 3 and if you want to check or not if you want to remove clouds or shadows and snow you check it otherwise just uncheck it but uh, the default uh, default will be true because here is the value is true if i enter here it false it will be unchecked if i write it here true this will be checked up automatically and we, it is the default function here now for on this one we will create a gif so i will introduce a button and the button will named as create labs and the button style will be primary so when i click there it will uh, the function will be added into create gif now download gif uh, variable uh, will also uh, call the button and uh, it's about download GIF so the button style will be primary and disable equals to false and style equals to style so I will try with the true letter and output will be widgets dot output so <coughs> uh, and in the bo box again I will uh, just introduce only create GIF so let's see only uh, create labs this one this this one will be added here if I add here uh, download GIF I can see two uh, boxes here okay now this is the definition functions for the submit clicked uh, so uh, if I uh, click the submit button or create labs it will go to this function so in this function we have within within output with this output uh, if start here that value is greater than in here print the in here must be greater so it will return the output like this and if the month will be uh, start month value is greater than in month value uh, the mo in month must be greater than the start month it will return like this and if the start year and in year will be the same uh, the progress bar will be not added otherwise it will be added so these are the things we can see and start date uh, it's about uh, I don't know exactly the code L let's see after uh, adding these things just hit enter so when I create the time lapse It will take some time when I download GIF 
after creating it it will be downloaded yeah okay it will be added to my desktop also it will be added to the map so let's see in the map here just after some time it's adding so let's wait okay the map has been added now and we can see the time lapse landsat time lapse from this year to some years and we can see the changes here If you look over here uh, in the river we can see that there is the river is being narrowed down look there yeah so you can see the differences thank you for watching and thank you professor Green Shingwell